You probably know that when we purchased this RV, it was nearly perfect. But there is one thing that's been driving me nuts and I don't know why all manufacturers don't just install this stuff stock. I mean, maybe you've got a brand new one and it's got this stuff, but mine didn't. And these doors are always closing on me. And the one on the other side is always, you know, it, it, it flips up and I gotta stick my head in there and they're whacking me in the head all the time. So how do you fix it? I'm gonna show you how to install a garage door catch for your RV right now. Super simple, something I should have done before. And what are you gonna need? You're gonna need a screwdriver or a drill, like this one. You're gonna need this drill bit, the square drill bit that I tell you to get in every single video when I do any installation. Maybe a tape measure if you wanna be kind of accurate. You're gonna need this door catch. I got a pack of like five of these for not that much money. And these are, these are actually metal catches. I think they're made out of adamantium. So they're not plastic, they're probably not gonna rot. And the cool thing about these is they've got this uh, rubber thing on the back so that it's not gonna leak when you screw it into the side of your RV on the outside. Look what appeared. <laughs> she wants to be the star, that's okay, she's better looking. So you can, be the, you can be the star. But we got, he's got something. These are drawer slides so coming excited. soon. Our drawers open From poorly. From day one. They just, day they just one. don't open very well. So, so hopefully I ordered the new drawer slides in sometimes. Are they 16 this. inches? I measure them. 16 inches. They are. They're 16 inches. They feel heavy duty, so hopefully they'll and fit. Our, our must have item came in too. Oh, look at our, our second set. Are they identical? Yes. Yeah, look identical. Yes. Our little All headlamps. Right. Continue on. The catches don't come with the screws. So this is, I think, my second or third box of these. These are those square-headed screws. They're called Robertson's or also Black Painted Head Self-Drilling Square Drive. Doctor, recess, you tell me. There's links for these screws and everything else we used in the video in the description below. I've used those everywhere. So let's go ahead and install it and see how it works. I. Not really sure how it's gonna work. I haven't, I haven't really tried it yet. Don't listen to him. So uh, do this together. There's not really a science or an exact place to put this, but I'm just gonna put it about two inches down. So when I do the other side, it'll match. So I'm gonna go about two inches right there, and then you just gotta slide it in till it's about right, till it's, you think it's gonna catch, and that looks like it'll do it. I think a little deeper is probably better, so it catches better. And it's gonna make sure it's possible to get it off and on. So probably as far into the door as you can. We're gonna, and still easily open it. So it's about where I'm gonna put it, and all you do is you take one of these magic screws, and you wanna make sure that there's no plumbing or electrical behind there. And how will I know? I'll know because I'll either get shocked or water will gush out, but maybe you should do better diligence. And then you just screw it in, because these are self-tapping screws, I love them. And then we wanna make sure that it's level. So you could, if you wanted to get hardcore, the level if the RV is level and it should be with our auto levelers and that's level so I just got to throw another screw in okay look at that adamantium it held so far let's see if it holds the door open pop it open <gasps> boom and I'm just gonna make sure that it's about two inches so I can do the other side real quick and it's well one and five eighths whatever we'll do that on the other side it's gonna go right about here it's not gonna hit anything and uh, in theory, I should use a smaller screw, but let's just do that same thing. So it's about one in five eighths. Bam. This one is gonna work even better because there's a little lip right here. So I'm just gonna guesstimate a place. There's only one like right here. That's gonna work great right right there. Can I have it please? Oh, thank you, love. Oh my gosh. A year, and in three minutes, I could have that fixed. Can't these little catches, it's going to make your life so much. Like literally every time I went in here, it was like, it was this. Oh, help me! And now, it's like, oh, hey. Ah. Bonus tip, Leela found these magnetic hooks, and if you've got anything metal on your RV, this isn't, but this is. That can help with little stuff like, oh, hey, hang that there, or you got towels outside, or whatever, we have, Metal on the other side as well. You can hang the tape measure here. So in case you don't have a little two-year-old to hand you stuff, it's like, oh, here's access to this. So I can level this. Oof. Not even close. Right now. Look at that. It's perfect. We don't have a lot of magnetic spaces, but we do have some spaces right here. And 
you know, whatever you can hang that's outside when you, for convenience factor, um, towels. And as you know, we travel to a lot of places. We love the water and the oceans and the lakes. So I'd rather have all the wet sandy towels out here kind of drying off until we can get inside. And for more renovation tips, go ahead and uh, click the link up here. And if you'd like to see more of our adventures, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button to be notified. And um, we can't wait to share our adventures with you.